Hi, today I am going to explain how we plastic surgeon sutures with our hands or with a needle holder. In this video, you are going to find all details, further tips and tricks about suturing. So let's start then. There is a design to demonstrate suturing. Essentially, there are four main techniques to tie. First one is single finger technique. In this technique, you need to hold one side of string between your thumb and middle finger. Then your index finger gets the string and across it to the other side. Then follow your knot with your index finger. Second one is three finger technique. In this technique, you need to hold the one side of your string between your thumb and index finger and then you turn it on your little finger. So again, you gain a circle. Now your middle finger loop and gets a half from the ring finger. Onwards, follow your nuts again with your index finger. Third one is the easiest and commonly known one, which is basic technique. In this technique, you create a circle with your index finger and thumb. Last one is the most important but barely known one, which is double knot technique. In this technique, you loop one side with three finger technique and the other side with single finger technique. By this way, double knot is achieved and you can eliminate the losing risk of knot during suturing. If it seems hard for you, you can employ basic technique like that to create double knot. Now let's check the mistakes might be done during suturing. After passing through the wound size, if you let the acute length for the both side, you can use this string just for one knot. And that's going to be a huge waste. So keep the one side of the string as short as possible to utilize it during the surgery. In the state of tension of the wound sides, if you don't let the contralateral hand holding the string tightly, your knot will be displaced. So after the first knot, hold the string tightly during the second one, means with the first one. Don't open your hands to make knot forward. Your index finger should guide your knot until it sits. By this trick, even in shallow areas, you can easily knot. At least four times knot your loop to eliminate the losing of the stitch. Also, use opposite loop directions to loop your stitches stronger. First, start with the design and features of a needle holder. It locks itself in X axle and unlocks in Y axle. The surgical needles have a round shaped design. They have a straight part for needle holders. If you hold needle from that particular part of the needle, you eliminate the dislocation risk of the needle during suturing. Now see how we hold the needle holder. There are two techniques for that. First one is five finger technique. In this way, your thumb and ring finger hold the handle and middle finger support the ring and index finger guide the needle holder. Lastly, little finger takes the back of the string. Second way is palm technique. In this style, you basically grab the holder in your palm and this is going to help you for applying more force. 
Although it seems so fuzzy for medicine students, it can be collected under two main heads as absorbable and non-absorbable sutures. We prefer absorbable materials for subsequent closure and you can cut it to your minds as a place for we cannot remove the stitches. And we prefer non-absorbable materials for skin closure and the state of tension closure. There are a few kinds of absorbable and non-absorbable materials commonly used. In essence, they differ according to their absorption time and the tip shape of the needle. For instance, this material has a sharp needle and made from polyglycoprum and it is an absorbable suture. We prefer basically round needles for subskin areas and sharp needles for skin areas. Because round needle will struggle to pass through the skin and needs so many force to do that. On the other hand, sharp needle can tear the subcutaneous tissue. We use PDS for cartilage tissue and they are dissolved in 180 days completely from the body. We use Vicryl for subcutaneous fat tissue and muscles and they are absorbed in 60 days. And we use monocryl for mucosa. You are going to use your Edson forceps to see the wound edges. And then your needle holder comes through the appropriate position to bite the wound and then go out from the other side. In this stage, you are going to roll your needle holder and your string over them two times and place your knot at least four times lock your suture to eliminate the solving and then cut it. Let's go forward with the vertical mattress suture, which we employ it in tension areas. This time, we get through the wounds and then go back just above the exit side again. and then knock it back. Third one is horizontal mattress suture. We employ it for mild tension areas. But this, this time you'd go back just beside of your exit area. Next one is subskin suturing. In fact, it is the opposite one of primary suturing. Then do the same thing for the opposite side. over and over suturing. We lock the suture at the beginning of the wound and then go over and over until end of the incision. In art, this ability is called as ambidexterity. Only about 1% of people are naturally ambidextrous. Famous examples for using both hands equally well includes Einstein, Tesla and Da Vinci. In modern life, left-handed people are forced to use their second hand because of so many instruments designed for right-handers. However, even if you are a right-hander as me, you can learn to be a both hand user. Because during the surgery, using your both hands are very useful and crucial.
That skill gives you so many advantages such as variety of numerous maneuvers and a wide range of motion capacity. Moreover, you will be finding yourself while doing the right thing in the right place without delay or any possible risk complication. First, you can start to use your non-dominant hand for drawing and writing as well. After that, if you think you are ready to use it, then try to use your scissor to cut and then suture. Go ahead for scalpel with your non-dominant hand, lastly. 